everyone, it's Simply Duck Designs here and I know I'm in a new kind of setting in the background and everything. I'm actually filming this video in my living room, which I never do. It just happens that this room has the best lighting today and my room is just a complete mess upstairs. So I decided to do it down here in my living room. So this new background won't be permanent. It just was what I had to work with today. Today I wanted to take this time to talk to you guys about a very important topic, something that I am very, very against and I'm working very, very hard to get people on board to try to stop it, but this is going to be a video about bullying. There has been tons of bullying going on in the duct tape community and it's very sad because when you think of the duct tape community, you think of it as an escape for a lot of people to just be able to sit down, relax, and share their crafts with the world, and be able to chat and talk and have so much fun just sharing with people, and people are starting to ruin it for everyone. There are so many people out there that are just bullying people for fun, and I think that's absolutely horrible. There are so many little kids that are getting bullied on mostly Instagram, I see. I see Instagram bullying all the time, like it's like every day now to the point that I don't even like getting on Instagram anymore. It's just been really sad. There are so many people that just get on and like to bully people for fun, and I think that's just absolutely horrible. But I wanted to tell you guys, to the people that are being bullied right now, you just need to realize that you are amazing. You are so much better than what these bullies are trying to tell you. There are so many bullies that just, for some reason, they get fun out of bullying other people and I don't really know why you know sometimes it comes from having tragic from their lives sometimes something happened to them that makes them feel better when they bully other people and sometimes it can just be that they're jerks and just have fun with that for no reason but I wanted to tell the people that are being bullied right now in the duct tape community just to hang in there because even though people are bullying you and telling you, oh, your craft is terrible, you know, you're ugly, you know, your craft is ugly, you didn't, you're, you didn't do this right, you did this wrong. When someone is telling you that, you need to look past it and just realize I'm bigger than this and I don't need to fight back. I don't need to bully this person right back to make myself feel better. There are definitely some ways that you can avoid bullying and stand up for yourself without bullying the other person back. I think that's the main issue right now is people take bullying and think, oh, okay, well this person's bullying me so I'm going to bully them back in order to take care of it. There is a difference between bullying someone else back and standing up for yourself. If someone is bullying you, you definitely want to block that person, you want to report that person, and just ignore them. Bullies want attention. So if someone is bullying you right now, you can just let them have fun, let them comment all these things to you, because every single time they post a comment, they're giving you evidence that they're harassing you, that they're bullying you, and you can report them and get their account shut down for good. But if you bully them back, well they have evidence against you that you have been bullying and harassing them right back. So what that means is they can easily report you right back and you get mixed up with all of that terrible, terrible treatment and people will think you're a bully as well. So the next time someone is bullying you just make sure that you ignore their comments every time they post a comment on your photos you can either block them or you can just let them comment and report their comment each time you know just block them don't talk to them report them and eventually if enough people do that it will go away because for an example Instagram will see all of those posts all of those comments and they'll see all those reports that everybody is following against that account and they'll take those reports and they will shut that account down if they violate the terms of service so if you've been bullied, like I said, just block and report and ignore because that is the best way to take a bully down. Now, moving on to another subject that relates to bullying is the fact that I have seen a lot of famous tapers bullying other kids and it's terrible. I am not going to name any names in this video because there are there have been several people since I have been on YouTube and Instagram that have been, you know, more famous tapers that have been bullies and there's just been too many to kind of single out and I wouldn't want to do that anyway because that's not right because that would be bullying back because I would be sending them hate by singling out certain names and saying, oh, this person said this to this person and then that might get other people to send them hate and you don't want that. You want everybody to be at peace with each other you want everything to be okay with each other, you want to love each other, and you don't want people to hate each other. People just think that drama is fun, and personally, I don't think that at all. Bullying is just awful, and people that are following these more famous tapers, I say famous tapers because people actually refer to them as famous tapers, and I think that is the silliest thing I've ever heard. If someone called me that, I would be like, 
No, I'm not a famous taper. I'm just myself. I'm not above anyone. I'm just me. It just means that I'm equal to everybody else. If there's somebody on YouTube that has one subscriber and makes excellent crafts, well, I'm not going to say that I'm better than that person because I have more subscribers. Because everybody's equal and you're not entitled to bully someone just because they have less subscribers, less followers, because their craft isn't as good. And that's something that really bugs me is a lot of bigger tapers try to say that you know you do this wrong with your craft you do that wrong with your craft just wipe that out of your head if someone's ever told you that because that is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard crafting is something that you do if you've made something on your own and you had fun with it and you did it all by yourself then it is beautiful I don't care what anybody says it is wonderful because you made it yourself you have to see beauty in the things that you do and that can apply to crafting it can apply to life it can apply to everything and you guys just have to realize how wonderful you truly are and don't let those bullies get to you see the beauty in what you make see the beauty in you and don't let those bullies stop you from having fun with your life whether that's duct tape whether that's at school whether you're having a problem with your family or your friends don't let yourself be bullied there are just so many ways to stop bullying that you don't have to be another bully because that's the problem that I've said many times in this video I'm sure but I just think that's the biggest issue here is people think that to stand up for themselves they have to go right back at these people I've seen people that have been bullied and they will come right back and call the bully you know say you're ugly or something like that and that's not how you handle a bully you just want to ignore that person and you know when that bigger more famous duct taper comments on a post of yours and says you didn't do this right or you copied me or you did this you did that who cares it is duct tape that's what people don't realize is yes duct tape has brought me so much in my life and I'm not afraid to say that it has brought me friends it has brought me my boyfriend it has brought me so much and I can't even explain what it's done for me but at the same time it's not worth bullying people over it's crafting. Crafting is meant for people to have fun. Community is meant for people to chat, for people to show each other what they've made, to be friends, to make friends, to meet new people all over the world. That's what a duct tape community is made for. That's what bothers me the most about the bigger duct tapers is that people just comment on people's things all the time and just say, you didn't do this right, you didn't do that right, you copied me, you took my color combo. Those things just sound so ridiculous when you tell other people. You know, if I went up to a random person and said, I am part of the duct tape crafting community and someone is bullying me because I took their color combo, how would people react to that? I. This color combo thing is something that I've seen people bully people over and I just can't get over how ridiculous it is. It's colors, like it's colors. Duck Brand owns those colors. Duck Brand made those colors. They are not yours. They are everybody's free to use. They're not your color combo. And there's these higher up duct tapers that say those sort of things and then all the younger duct tapers will take those people and they will worship them pretty much and say, oh my God, you're amazing, you're wonderful. And why? Why are they wonderful for bullying other people? I never understand that. To me, a wonderful person is someone who is kind to others and that is not right to just bully people for the fun of bullying people. The whole point of this video is that I'm telling you guys that you're wonderful no matter what. No matter what anybody says to you, you are wonderful, you're amazing, you're beautiful, and you can't listen to these people who tell you otherwise. I don't think bullying is something that will ever stop. Bullying is something that will always exist, but my plan is to try to decrease it in my life. If I can stop one bully in my life, well then I'm happy. Because bullying is just something that should not exist no matter what. Even though bullying can't ever be stopped permanently, like I said, you can decrease it. I think if people stand together and work together, there's definitely ways that you can get rid of some bullying and even most bullying. There's always going to be a few jerks out there that just think it's funny and they're just not going to change their mind about that. But we can definitely work together and help each other to eliminate more bullying. So I know this is a longer video and... It's definitely different from something I've done before, but my channel's pretty different from other duct tapers, and I just thought this was something that I really needed to say, and I really needed to put this on my channel because it's just something that I witness every single day on social media, and it just needs to stop. If you guys agree with some of the things I said, give this video a thumbs up because I would love to see that. You know, if you guys want to share anything about experiences you've had with bullying, you can feel free to comment that down below. If you guys don't want to share anything, you don't have to. If you guys want to just share some kind words, you know, that's fine. I might get some negative comments on this video, but that's okay. I'm fine with that because 
this video is something that needed to be done and I don't think anyone has really taken a chance to just say this and something so ridiculous I mean bullying over duct tape that just <laughs> it just makes me laugh because it's so ridiculous I mean there's bigger issues in this world to deal with and we're bullying people over color combos and credit and all those kind of things and you know crooked ID plastics and crooked trim and all that stuff and it's just silly and I just wanted to tell you guys that and just remember that you guys are wonderful so I'm gonna stop rambling right here because I could talk about this literally all day thank you guys so much for sticking with me through this whole entire thing and I will talk to you all in the next video bye everyone so it is this cosmic tie-dye smollet and the seams are clear taped if you guys can tell really smooth on the outside on the inside it is paired with the star prism if you guys can tell